Hey guys, I found Bumblebee at Walmart. So this is a Walmart uh, exclusive. It's the uh, War for Cybertron trilogy. Uh, now it's part of the Netflix uh, line. And there's two exclusive at Walmart, uh, Bumblebee and Alita 1. I saw a ton of Alita 1, uh, but one Bumblebee. And that's this is the one I picked up. Now I'm assuming the um, Hasbro has uh, distributed uh, both uh, Alita 1 and Bumblebee as the same ratio in a box. That's only an assumption, but there was definitely a very rare Bumblebee sighting and a ton of Alita 1s, which meant that nobody wants that figure, <laughs> uh, which is fine. Fair enough. Um, it's a girl figure, and I've actually, um, I own a few girl figures in the tr Transformer world, and they are a terrible transformation. It's just that, um, the, it's, uh, I'll be honest, uh, um, Transformer was a boys cartoon. So all the original, if you look at the original cartoon, they're all boys, all guys, which is great. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's a boys cartoon. Uh, when they start introducing uh, girls in, in the Transformer line, it's just kind of weird. And then to have girls representation of robots, it's kind of weird. I mean, do they like, have children uh, you know it's like kind of i don't know it's just a weird thing they're robots come on i mean just there should not even be a gender they're, they're just neutral or whatever you know anyway so uh, uh bumblebee um before i actually talk about him i want to make an update on my um uh robot in disguise video because i mentioned that i, I was missing the skunk guy uh in fact i do have the skunk guy um I am missing the shark guy, so hang on, let's take him out of here. So I have like Dark Scream, Slapper, Dark Wave. I mean, or I don't know. He's like uh, the Star Scream of the uh, the um, robot disguise world. And then we have the Skunk guy, and then um, I Skunk Gas, I think is his name. Anyway, I'm surprised I have him and. I think these came as a three pack. That's why I own all three. Um, like I said, the shark one, um, I don't own. And to be honest, I maybe have not ever seen him in stores. The, it's like a shark um, Decepticon. So yeah, I, I may may have never seen him in stores. I would have picked it up because it would have gone well with this line. And of course the great Gal uh, Megatron. And Megatron actually, not only does he turn into um, a two-headed dragon down there, but he actually turns into a jet as well. He, he turns into six different vehicles. Uh, Galvatron, which is the repaint of this guy, actually turned into like ten different vehicles or whatever. But they're not great vehicles. I mean, a lot of like, say, triple changers, they don't... Uh, all the other vehicles kind of suck. I just like I like him in his robot mode, but it's really interesting that um, I mean I think the sculpt is really cool. He looks so different from uh, from Optimus Prime because he's like a organic uh, base, and then of course Car Robots, which is the um, robot in disguise anime uh, that is based on. It's uh, it's all you know or, uh, robotic and you know. I mean, this, hang on a second here. I mean, Megatron compared to Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime is actually much larger. Uh, I really love Optimus, you know what? Uh, I found his other hand part. So, I mean, take that, uh, Megatron. I mean, yeah, he's he stands so much taller. The, the he's a fire truck. I, I meant, I said fire hydrant, but he's a fire truck. And the fire truck ladder actually helped stand him up just because he's so tall that the uh, the ladder actually helped, you know, prop him up. Which is, actually, he comes with his own stand, I guess, which is really great. I really love this uh, Optimus Prime, even though he looks very anime. Um, and then, of course, Megatron, still, still very awesome. Now, also, I own um, Nemesis Prime. So here it is. Um, actually, this is not this is not my toy. So that's why I didn't realize I own uh, I own him at all. But he's my brother's toy, and he this is a uh, KB toy or Toys R Us exclusive. One of those figures, 
And he comes with a, a, a gun which you can pump this down and it shoots the, the gun out. I'm, I must have misplaced uh, the part here. But he actually, I think he's a repaint of a um, Generation 2 uh, Transformer. So that's his head here. He looks great in his robot mode actually. This is this. He's pretty easy to transform. I've never really considered this as part of the Robot in Disguise line, to be honest. I know that... Okay, so here's Nemesis Prime Transform. Uh, the, you know, the first time I've ever heard of um, Nemesis Prime in, like, the black version of Optimus Prime was this figure. So I've never heard of him uh, existing before. Uh, he looks great, uh, but um, he has a hard time standing. Maybe it's just poor design or something. So if you want to stand him up, you gotta, like, kind of... Lean him forward just a little bit, and then you can kind of. I don't know. It, it, I think it's because his backpack is is causing him to fall over. Uh, so it's, he comes with a gun on his hand, and then, like I said, he looks really good. Uh, like I said, he was a repaint of uh, uh, Optimus Prime. I think from Generation Two, I want to say because, but he his mode actually existed before and like I said, I've never considered him part of the robot in disguise line just because it's from a different generation I mean you look at sorry about Optimus you look at this design here it's so like anime and you look at this it's very boxy and very of its time so I feel like they didn't really go together even though he is part of the robot in disguise uh, line towards the end like um like I said, it was a Toys R Us exclusive or a KB Toy Store exclusive, one of those. But I just know that that he didn't fit in this world right here. I mean, this design is, is so interesting uh, versus this, which is very boxy and kind of like squarish, and which is fine too. I mean, uh, I don't have an issue with that. I think his car mode definitely looks good as well. Um, but... Anyway, enough of Robot in Disguise. Let's take a look at um, Bumblebee. So, at first I thought... So, at first I thought this is actually just a repaint of Cliff Jumper, which was also released uh, in the um, um, Earthrise uh, Cybertron, War for Cybertron Trilogy, whatever they're calling it. Earthrise. So I thought he was just a repaint of Earthrise, but uh, he's actually not. He is actually a very unique figure, and uh, I don't know why Hasbro decided to make this a, a Walmart exclusive, because I know a lot of fans who love Transformers don't live by Walmart, especially people overseas who don't live near Walmart. Uh, they are complaining that this figure is hard to come by, and since he's also a major character, you gotta have Bumblebee with your Optimus Prime. Uh, I mean, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee goes hand in hand. So to have Bumblebee as a store store exclusive kind of kind of makes it hard for collectors to get the, their hands on this figure. All right, I'm gonna open him up. So here is the box art, uh, really gorgeous art there. Uh, Reminisces, I want to say they want to. They probably used IDW's uh, art team. Um, and then on these Netflix logo with the uh, other, all the other Autobots. And then the back is shown Bumblebee. The backdrop shows Bumblebee with this Autobot red design over it. You get instructions for him. I'm going to be honest, I don't read the instruction really. I try to figure this out. And if I can't figure it out, there's something wrong with me. You also get a piece of the uh, Teletran 1 backdrop. Uh, so if you buy the other Netflix figure, which I'm not, um, you can connect them to form Teletran 1 backdrop. Um, the only reason why I'm not collecting the Netflix series is just because I don't like the battle damage stuff. And all the figures, even though they look great, um, they they have all this damage, this battle damage. 
unfortunately for Bumblebee, I don't see any any uh, battle damage on this figure. So it looks like a very clean, uh, um, you know, orange or yellow paint. And then you got his accessories. The accessories are actually the same as Cliff Jumper. Uh, there's like this form into a giant gun, which, to be honest, I'm not gonna keep with. The, the Bumblebee figure. I think I'm gonna take that big gun and give it to another Transformer. Um, Bumblebee, just to me, is not a big gun kind of guy. Okay, here's the gun assemble. I think that's how it works. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it to uh, Bumblebee. This this gun is comically oversized for uh, Bumblebee. I mean, if Bumblebee had to hold the weapon, it looks like he's holding... Uh, the, the gun is bigger than Bumblebee himself. Um, you know, he looks like he's holding a bazooka. That's just, that's just outrageous. Um, so, like I said, uh, I'm probably going to give this gun to another Transformer. Which is fine because uh, in the Siege uh, War for Cybertron type of uh, uh, line, all, all the pegs should be um, co um, compatible with the other uh, toy line. Um, you know, for example, if you want to peg it on his arm here, or we'll take a look at Earthrise um, um, Optimus, and he Optimus has all these pegs, so you can like peg these kind of. I think they should fit. Yeah, you can just peg in there, and you know that's that's how they design these. You can mix and match these. Uh, I mean, people think it's cool, but I think it's awful because now. Optimus has all these holes all over the place, uh, like a hole here, a hole there. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make for a good clean design. And, um, you know, see all these, like, extra, like, lines and stuff like that. I'm not too crazy about that. Uh, but with Bumblebee, you don't see any of that. I mean, it's really cool because, look, the roof is smooth. I mean, there's no crazy line design. So, um... Yeah, maybe they're, Hasbro is listening to the fans and like um, giving us like uh, you know generation one type of vehicle in a realistic uh, mode. I think that's one of the, my biggest complaint about like you know I don't like I don't like war damage. I don't like battle damage. I don't like broken transformers, uh, whatever the the thing is. And then I don't like like crazy over the top designs. This is this looks like a very clean design. Uh, in fact, actually, uh, I'm trying to find a cliff jumper to buy, but uh, since ever since he came out, um, I haven't seen him ever since then. So, so people are buying these. Um, so, anyway, we're gonna transform uh, Bumblebee. So this putting in his windshield is actually the hardest part here. So he doesn't exactly fold down there you go he does eventually make it in but it's a very tight fit and then hopefully you can just peg in the rest of this there you go just make sure everything is snaps in there Okay, so the final part is um, the, the, his, his back. This I'm not too crazy about. I feel like they're cheating a little by just removing this part. And then, you know, I wish um, as part of the transformation that they incorporate it with the, um, the overall design. But, you know. Right, I think this is it. So Bumblebee, this <laughs> I really love this actually. Uh, no complaints here. Um, I feel his vehicle is a little small, but that's fine because it's going to scale with the Optimus here. Um, so yeah, he the, he uses less plastic, I guess, and I feel maybe um, uh, you know for twenty dollars you might not you might feel the value is in there. But I'm gonna tell you this. This is probably my favorite uh, transformer so far in this line that they release. Uh, I don't say that lightly because I really hate um, 
choice. Okay, so you know I've been buying the Earthrise stuff because I thought that's really cool. It's kind of like a return to Earth based vehicles and then and I was really excited to get into the line and then I bought Hoist and this is my least favorite figure ever. It is just, it is awful. Uh, like I said, I really hate how they painted this window black here. I can see his hands down there. I'm not crazy about that. And then, and then there's this kind of like battle damage thing on the top of his hood. I mean, uh, people don't mind it, but I, I really hate that. I mean, why would you chip the paint uh, on this, you know? Make it a really solid color, just like Bumblebee. No battle damage. I mean, look at this. This is a clean design. I have to say, there's only one, one window, rear window here, and there's no windows on this side. But still, I mean, if you look past that, this this looks like a, a Volkswagen. This, I don't know what this is. This is like a really awful awful design. Anyway, I'm going to transform him. Okay, so here's Hoist in his robot mode. Um, I think he does look a lot better in his robot mode, but of course, you know, this boxy uh, face. I know it's, it's G1 inspired or whatever, but it just it's not a great looking figure, but it's still um, a very big figure compared to, say, Bumblebee, which is so much smaller use so less plastic than, than this guy they cost the same but I mean I feel like for value it looks like he might actually get more value out of it because I feel like there's definitely less less plastic on a bumblebee even though I think he looks great and I think he deserved the $20 um, anyway the wheels um, are still plastic and everything but they they don't look like they're pegged in with um, with hoist maybe to save money they uh, they engineered this like kind of like peg system where they just peg in this this wheel here where you don't even see the hubcaps covering it um, you know where you see a bumblebee uh, it's you know the hubcaps are, is is covering the uh, the wheels I mean I don't know. I guess I'm not crazy about this figure. I mean, here he is standing next to Optimus Prime. He's a little smaller in terms of scale, but it's scale correctly. I feel that's why uh, Optimus should always be much bigger than the other figures, um, in my opinion, uh, just because he's the leader. Okay, so here is uh, Netflix uh, Bumblebee compared to the other Bumblebee. Have you noticed the color? Is actually more orangey so the rest of these are like really bright yellow so this is the original bumblebee this is like anime animate style bumblebee probably the biggest bumblebee of all of them I mean in my collection uh, this is another anime animated um, robot in disguise it looks like um, uh, the cool thing about this figure is uh, he has a sword underneath there um, and then we have Alternity um, Bumblebee, which at this point is probably um, one of my one of my favorite Bumblebee. Um, now I also have Legend Class Bumblebee, uh, which uh, kind of is uh, goes hand in hand. Now this is Cliff Jumper, but I do own the um, the yellow color version, which is Bumblebee. I do own Bumblebee. I just don't know where it is. I I might have it on display somewhere, and I forgot about it, and it's just it's lost somewhere. But I do own Bumblebee. Anyway, this is Cliff Jumper. What's cool about these legend figures is um, inside of him is a, uh, a you can fit a you can fit a headmaster. So I'll demonstrate here. Let me take a look. So this little guy is like a headmaster, and you can fit him inside. Whoops! Well, that bad design there. <laughs> so you can fit him inside, driving the uh, the car. Just um, take my word for it. <laughs> you can fit him inside a, a car. Now these head things are actually really cool. Um, so they they turn into a. Uh, the head of the robot. Uh, I'll give you another demonstration. Here's a, uh, one of those bigger robot, right? So his head could just plop off. 
and then we can put in a different head. Uh, let me straighten him up. Okay, so now you have almost like a different, um, uh, you know, a robot uh, based on the, the different head scope. Um, so this is the head he was ho had before. So it um, can drastically change the, the robot's look based on the head. Actually, this head looks really good on this body here. Um, and again, uh, if you don't want to keep that, you can turn him into a, a little micro um, headmaster guy. And these guys, like I said, can fit inside these cars uh, so you can drive them. Uh, I'm going to put this other head back just because... Uh, I feel like it's wrong to, uh, there you go, hey, <clears throat> so we can, does his head come off, uh oh, I don't think his head comes off, no, see, <laughs> that's the thing with these headmaster, I don't know which one they are, okay, this is not a headmaster, okay, so, here, here's another head mask. So you can tell because they're kind of like almost blocky. Uh, so anyway, you can just pull out his head and swap his head for... But yeah, let's see if it looks better. Yeah, definitely you can... You can mix and match your heads. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like this series, actually. It's, uh, I don't know what series this was from, but it's, it's good. I love the head stuff. Okay, so we have uh, original Bumblebee, Netflix Bumblebee, and then Alternity uh, Bumblebee. Uh, obviously, uh, this one is much larger, and I didn't um, transform the animated series uh, to compare it to, but just because they're so anime and so very different from you know, traditional Bumblebee that it's, um, it's, it's, it's distracting to put them, uh, with, with these, these guys. Now, uh, I did put his, um, the weapon that comes with the, um, Netflix Bumblebee on him. I mean, it's just so massive and big. I don't recommend this weapon. Uh, no, this is a weapon I found from a different Transformer, uh, which I have on his hand. So, uh, any transformer weapon can probably work with this guy because they they use the same uh, pegs and and holes. So that's why I recommend if you're you want to pair him with a smaller weapon. Um, in fact, if you don't want him with weapons at all, I think it it's still a great figure. Uh, so in conclusion, um, I really like this guy. I think uh, he's probably my favorite uh, kind of post Earthrise um, Transformer and um, even at 20 bucks I think he's he's really worth it if you can find it uh, so go to Walmart uh, toy section and look for him um, if you want Alita one uh, she's probably widely available at Walmart um, although I say that and then the next day you come there is probably all gone because scalpers have gotten there um, but otherwise, if you can find him at Walmart, uh, pick him up. I think he he, look, he would work really well with the rest of your Earthrise collection, if you have the Earthrise collection, or even the Netflix um, version. He he works really well with them. He's in scale as well. That means that he's so much smaller than the other um, Transformers, uh, especially in his class size. Uh, but that's fine. That's Bumblebee. That's part of his. Um, you know, um, nature. Um, anyway, yeah, I think besides from Optimus Prime and uh, Soundwave, uh, Bumblebee comes a, a, kind of like a third or fourth favorite uh, tra Transformer figure, um, a Transformer character. Um, and that's to say, uh, make, make that fifth because <laughs> I really like uh, Soundwave as well. I think Soundwave is so much better. Uh, Anyway, I like the bad guys, so. But Bumblebee, uh, you know, I, I already have a collection of Bumblebee, so he's he's definitely uh, one of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Netflix um, Bumblebee, uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, I do not believe there's going to be an Earthrise Bumblebee. Um, so basically, this is your only Bumblebee if you're looking to get within this uh, last few years from Hasbro. 
Kingdom is the new uh, Transformer that's coming out, which I'm not quite excited about. I know everybody loves loves it, and uh, people are reviewing this um, Kingdom figure, but um, I have really no interest in them. I think they need to bring it back to vehicle stuff, um, and then I'll be more interested in it. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I, I'll actually be looking forward to more Netflix stuff as soon as I see them. But uh, and I'm when I'm talking about and thinking about it, I think I might actually go back and pick Alita one if if she's still there at Walmart. Uh, but yeah, definitely this guy is great. I might actually buy another one if I find him just to give to, as a gift uh, 